What's up, STN fans? I'm your host, Dead Hooper. So glad you could join me. The Georgia Bulldogs lost to the Florida Gators was a big one. What do they think about it? What do they think about their game coming up against the Kentucky Wildcats? And we had a chance to talk to some players about just some other stuff. We'll check that out after we check out the Mill Creek Hawks Northview Titans highlight footage from Halloween night. Check out that right now on STN. <laughs> Hey, I'm Edward Hooper at the Mill Creek High School Northview High School football game. Right now we're at the half. 21 to 7 is the score. Mill Creek leading the Northview Titans. Mill Creek has had many penalties that has affected their game right now. This game could be 35 nothing if Mill Creek wanted it to. Good defensive stands by Mill Creek. Defense has been the key all day for them. Let's check out some highlights from the second half. Right, we're here with Ramel Wilson of Mill Creek. Ramel, talk about what was it like to play your last game at Mill Creek High School? Um, it felt it felt kind of sad to know that we're not going to be here next year, and we're seniors and we're going to leave. Like the whole aspect of being with your teammates and doing this together is really great. What was your favorite part about playing for Mill Creek High School here at Mill Creek? It was the practices, being with your friends. Friends and talk about the game tonight. What was what was the best part of the 55-14 uh, win? When I got my two touchdowns. All right, Ramel Wilson, Mill Creek High School. Tremendous, you know, it's a beautiful place, beautiful facilities. Just, you know, it's a great place to come out and hang out on Friday nights. And I loved every moment I had on this field. And this is the way, this is the way to end it. You know, it's, it's a heartbreaker that we didn't make the playoffs, but all in general, we just had to come out and win so we get a winning record, so. Again, that final 51-14, to 14, Mill Creek winning that one on Halloween night. Once again, like we said, we had a chance to talk with some Georgia Bulldogs about the Florida loss, the upcoming game against the Kentucky Wildcats, and what it's going to be like to go back to Lexington, Kentucky. Last time Georgia played there, they lost. And we had a chance to talk to some players and coaches about some random stuff. So check it out right here on STN. Uh, you know, obviously it's it's not a whole lot of fun, but uh, you know, getting getting to come back out and and uh, and practice the next week, and you know, I'm just glad we don't have another off week like we did after Alabama. Um, so you know, just getting uh, getting an opportunity to come out and play again makes it feel a whole lot better. Um, obviously, uh, some form of disappointment because uh, you know, most definitely, you really, really, you know, won the game like that because you just understand the intensity of that game, and they uh, just trying to you know just overcome that, and I uh, just get ready for next week. Us, uh, it's, it's always tough to lose, and especially in the way that we lost. Uh, so what what we have to do is just go in, watch film, correct our mistakes, try to make sure some of those you know little things don't happen again because at the end of the day, it's the little things that get you beat. Me, me personally, not really. You know, I, I just take every game probably the same. I'm um, just trying to go out there and execute on offense and and uh, put points up and, and see if we can get a win. Um, you know, obviously, I think some guys will probably use that as a motivation, but personally, I, I really don't. Well, I think they most definitely deserved it. At that time, I think they hadn't had a chance to beat us, and then they had a chance, and I think the fans deserved it. And uh, she's going to come out there and hopefully just not let that happen again. As we get closer to the game, you know, right now we haven't really talked about much other than you know, really working hard and preparing. Um, we hadn't talked a lot about any kind of thing that might motivate him other than we need to go win a game, you know. But that, I'm sure that'll probably. What school would you pick besides for uh, when I was getting recruited, um, I think the final two schools were here in the University of Texas, just because I'd be able to play in front of, you know, a bunch of a bunch of my friends and, and family uh, uh, every week. So that that'd probably be the other school. 
Well, uh, oddly as it seems, uh, the uh, last three schools doing recruiting I came down to was Florida, LSU, and Georgia. And I uh, most definitely picked Georgia, and I'm so happy that I did. Man, I don't know. I think uh, even though we don't really get to hear it um, too much, uh, but when we're in the locker room at home and they play the bugle up in the corner, I like that one a lot. It, uh, that one gets me going. Um, I think the dog walk was definitely something that I really look forward to every game. And just playing the Sanford Stadium between the hedges, I think, is something magical every time we play there, uh, win or lose. And I just think I've just really, really been enjoying it since I've been here. Um, I mean, there's so many great traditions that, that you really can't put them in a rank order, uh, whether it may be the dog walk, uh, the red coat band, uh, the fanfare around the stadium, playing in Stanford Stadium, ugly. You name it. Uh, any, everything about the U, UGA screams to just, and I'm just happy to be a part of it.